This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about bed bugs coming down your chimney. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to talk about, but hey, it's Christmas time. People ready for Santa to come down the chimney. They don't want no bed bugs coming down the chimney. And no, I'm not trying to say that Santa brings bed bugs down the chimney. Although if he's visited some bed bug homes, he might. Um, the thing is, is that we're, we're trying to, I'm trying to explain to you where bed bugs come from. So this time of year, so we're getting into winter time. I mean, it's December, about the second week of December, second, third week, whatever, where, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> um, it's, a, it, it's right in the middle of December, basically. It's starting to get chilly. I mean, I'm in Virginia. Lots of things try to get in this time of year uh, because it's cold. You know, raccoons come down the chimney. Uh, rats, ch uh, chipmunks, uh, squirrels, lots of things, birds, stuff like that try to get down your chimney. Uh, number one, I just want to insert this right here. It's really important to get your chimney serviced even if you're not using your chimney uh, for things like, you know, fires or anything like that. Maybe you just, you don't have a fire in the chimney ever and maybe you moved in the house and the people before you maybe they used the fire but you just decided you're not going to burn wood in the house too much of a risk you still need to have your chimney serviced it's very important and usually what I recommend people do is put a chimney cap on this will keep wild animals and stuff like that from coming down the chimney um, have your have your uh, chimney sweep inspect your chimney make sure it's clean of any kind of bird nests and and animal debris and stuff like that and then put a chimney cap on if you're not going to use the chimney cap off your chimney and they actually make chimney caps where you can still use a chimney if you're going to have a fire in the chimney uh, there's chimney caps out there that you just they just kind of make like a little teepee over top of your chimney so the rainwater won't come down the chimney but the smoke and stuff will still come out and the animals and stuff primarily animals won't be able to come down your chimney because that's that's what we're talking about here we're talking about things coming down your chimney into your home so where do bed bugs fit into this whole large scheme of, of like I said we've talked about wild animals you know wild animals are the most common thing to have come down the chimney this is what people have in fact I've had people have squirrels come down the chimney flying squirrels um, rats roof rats and stuff will come down the chimney uh, lots of animals I had I actually had a customer one time who had a rattlesnake in her chimney she had a uh, oh, it was it was very nervous you know dealing with a rattlesnake in a chimney but uh, she had a wood stove and the wood stove uh, she didn't really use the fireplace the fireplace had been boarded up they used like a metal plate in front of the fireplace so you couldn't get into the fireplace where she used to have it but she still had the damper and everything that was in there and then above the damper they had a stove pipe and so what happened was the rattlesnake actually got down and was living in her old fireplace that had since been sealed off and she said she called us and she's like hey uh, I've got a rattlesnake in my chimney I went out there and sure enough every single time you would like tap 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 on the uh, piece of metal on her fireplace you would hear the rattlesnake would just cart yeah, that's my best impersonation I'm sorry it's horrible but that's what they would do and I was scared I was scared I thought I was gonna get bit I thought oh it was it was very uh, taxing on my nerves but uh, what we did was we smoked it out and this, the snake left the house alone and we sealed it up on the outside so the snake couldn't get back in. Um, so that's what we had to do in that situation. But this is, these are some of the things that you have to think about when you've got a fireplace. A fireplace creates a hole all the way up to the roof where varmints and stuff can come down. So this gets into the bed bugs. So where, where do bed bugs come from? Bed bugs uh, primarily this time of year a lot of times if it's not family and friends bringing them in 
from their homes, which we did touch on this earlier in this uh, in this you know series about you know bugs and stuff that come into your house this time of year. Um, and that truck sounds like he really got some gas or something. Uh, but anyway, so this time of year, you'll have animals and stuff like that come down the chimney. Well, a lot of animals will actually leave your chimney this time of year. So uh, speaking of like chimney swifts, which is a type of a bird that will actually roost inside your chimney, kind of like barn swallows. They will roost inside your chimney. They will make their nests on the side of your flue all the way down the chimney and uh, they create a fire hazard. So if you if you light your chimney, you know, light your fire, you know, wood stove or whatever, and, and you, uh, or your fireplace or whatever, you light a fire in there and the flue gets too hot, it will actually catch these little bird nests and stuff on fire and it can cause a chimney fire. So this is why you need to have a, uh, a chimney sweep come out and clean your chimney uh, at least once a year. Um, so they, they get in there and they clean out the chimney. All right, so one of the things that the chimney swifts migrate for the winter, and so do bats. So bats bring a type of a parasite called bat bugs. A bat bug is actually related to bed bugs, and it's where scientists believe that bed bugs actually came from. I get uh, asked a lot of times, a lot of people will ask me uh, where do bed bugs come from and scientists say scientists claim that because people uh, live in caves even still to this day especially if you go over to like the Middle East places where they're in the desert and it's actually cooler to live underground a lot of these people will still live in caves and visit caves regularly uh, another place that uh, caves are used is like in mining where people go underground for coal and things like that. They're digging rocks and minerals and, and, and diamonds and stuff like that out from the earth. They're uh, around bats a lot. And bats carry bat bugs. Bat bugs are a breed of bed bug that actually comes from a bat. That it's a parasite to bats. And when the bats leave your home, like if they're traveling south for the winter, because bats primarily feed on things like mosquitoes and bugs, and mosquitoes and things like that aren't really uh, available to bats. Like in Virginia, like right now, it's the middle of December, and mosquitoes have pretty much died off, and we don't really have mosquitoes right now. So the bats will fly south, fly into like South Carolina, Georgia, and different places where it's warmer, and they can still get uh, into the mosquito population and actually feed themselves. Um, and so, so what happens is when the bats are living in your chimney, they are creating a population of bed bug in the chimney that breed, that breed and feed on bats. Um, when the bats are gone, the bed bugs stay in the chimney. They don't have a host. They don't actually ride on the bats. They're attracted. Well, yeah, they can, but most of them stay in the chimney. So what happens is when the bats are gone the bed bugs no longer have a host. So they will actually come into your house through cracks in the flu and different ways. They can actually get into your home and they'll start biting you. And then once they get in your house, uh, they'll live on your beds. They'll live in your baseboards, around your bedroom, same places bed bugs live, same exact places. These bat bugs will actually root in your home and they will live in your home just like bed bugs do. And so it's a really common thing this time of year for people to start calling me for bed bugs. You go into the house and you find out it's actually bat bugs. It's not bed bugs at all because the bats were living in the chimney. The bats have left the house. And now because the bed bugs are hungry, they come in the house looking for a host. And it just so happens they start biting on people instead of bats. So how do you, uh, how do you address this problem? Well, one you need to, like I said, you need to get a chimney sweep out there. You need to clean your chimney. You need to put on a chimney cap. Number one, that's the top thing you absolutely need to do. Every chimney should have a chimney cap, uh, whether they're being used or not. They need to have a chimney cap installed. Um, get that done first. Treat your home. Do a preventative pest control treatment on your home. Actually, Crossfire, the pesticide that I recommend for the control of bed bugs, is actually labeled for other breeds of bed bug. Not just human bed bugs, but also bat bugs and other breeds of bed bugs will die from Crossfire. So you can actually treat your home 
with Crossfire as a bed bug prevention treatment, and it will kill the bat bugs if they try to get into your home from the flu. Uh, another type of bug that comes from critters living in your chimney are uh, chimney swift bugs, which are still another breed of bed bug. So they will come into your house as well. So if you have chimney swifts, which is a type of a bird, they can kind of look like bats and they fly at night like bats, but they're birds. Um, they bring their own slew of parasites that you want to treat your house for to keep these bugs from coming in and setting root when these birds and these bats and these other animals and things fly south for the winter. So hopefully this video has been educational and has taught you a few things about about how to get rid of bed bugs and hopefully this winter as you're all sitting around uh, enjoying your Christmas dinners and your Hanukkah and all the different things that people do uh, for the holiday season hopefully bat bugs won't be invited or bed bugs or raccoons or squirrels or other types of wild critters that you just don't need in your house at all if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you really like it consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget live every Thursday night I come on, I answer your questions, you can give me a call, I've got a special Skype phone number where you can call in the live show, you can ask me your questions on the air, um, everyone can hear it, so it kind of helps everybody that's there in the chat room, and uh, don't forget, show up and ask me anything you want, doesn't have to be about bed bugs, it's, the show's called The Bed Bug Show, but um, you know, you can ask me anything, you ask me, you've got a little baby, I had a little baby born seven weeks ago, and he's just the cutest thing in the world, I like to talk about him. Uh, I could talk about roaches and fleas and crickets and silverfish and all kinds of bugs. So, you know, I love bugs. I love my job. I don't mind helping you guys. So uh, I hope to see you there Thursday night after 930 Eastern Time. Uh, check me out. And wherever you are, uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a really good day. I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. And uh, catch me Thursday nights. Tuesday nights is when I usually upload my videos, and Thursday nights is when I do my live stream. So thank you, and y'all have a good day. Bye.